Are you actually comfortable in your comfort zone or are you experiencing that discomfort of wanting to be on the other side? Here's your tough love from me today. When are you going to decide that what you want to achieve is important enough? Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Related Podcast. I am your host, Amanda Bible, and I am so pumped to be talking to you guys today. I literally have been thinking about how much I actually love doing these podcasts and how much fun I've been having speaking with all of our guests and stuff that we have coming up. And I've just been having such a good time. I am the type of person who... I could literally go into a forest and talk to a tree. Like I can, I can talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. So I feel like just having um, this outlet and this platform for you guys is something that just feels super natural, super easy, and. I love giving giving back and giving you the value. With that being said, I appreciate all of the comments and all of the reviews and all of the messages that I've been getting with podcast requests and um, guest requests and all of the things. So keep it coming because I so appreciate it. I read all of the messages that you guys send and it really means a lot to me. This week is Read Across America Week for Julian at his school and oh my gosh. So it's like they're sending me all of these pictures throughout the day and it's the cutest thing ever so on Monday he had to wear red and blue yesterday he had to wear his crazy socks and today he had to wear all green because they're reading um green eggs and ham <laughs> it's just like it's so adorable and like the other um the other day he's like coming home and he's like telling us all about like what he did during the day and like it's full on sentences it's like r like really really ridiculous like all of a sudden he's like just spitting all these words i don't know if i shared this last week and if i did i apologize but he i picked him up from school and he started saying he was calling me something and I'm like, what are you saying? And like, I just kind of like brushed it off because I couldn't decipher it. Like if you have a toddler, then you know, it's literally like you you have to decode and translate their toddler language into like words that you understand. So I remember like, you know, when my friends were having kids and like, I haven't, didn't have any kids yet, their kids would be saying something to them. And I'm like, Oh, they think they understand, but like, there's no way that they could understand this child right now. But like, it's a thing. Like I under try, I, I try and understand literally everything Julian says. And like, there's some things like when he's saying something for the first time, I won't understand it. And this is what happens. So, so he started calling me something, something. And I'm like, okay, Julian, whatever. He's just repeating something he heard at school. But then the next morning he called it, he said it again. He's calling me a funny goose because I call him a silly goose. Sometimes I'm like, oh, Julian, you're such a silly goose. He started calling me a funny goose <laughs> and I'm like are you the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life like are you kidding me right now funny goose I can't like I couldn't get enough of it I thought it was the cutest thing ever and then on Monday because on Mondays we go grocery shopping together and it's like his favorite thing to get his rainbow bagel and his mini apple juice or whatever and now he's doing this new thing where he's he points at everything and he goes mommy look mommy look how funny mommy look look it's so funny and I'm like everything's so funny and I think it's like hysterical because he literally says mommy look it's so funny oh my goodness mommy look it's so funny and I'm like literally dying because it's the funniest thing ever but this morning and here's the other like highlight of the week Cameron started rolling from his back to his belly yesterday which is like a big milestone for for a little baby so he was rolling from his belly to his back because he would do like his tummy time but now he's rolling from his back to his belly and this morning before I took Julian to school he did it again and Julian goes oh baby rolled over <laughs> <laughs> and we started dancing around the living room. We were going, go Cammy, go Cammy, go. 
go Cammy, go Cammy, go. And Julian's like jumping up and down, clapping his hand, shaking his tush. And Brett's like, go Cammy, go Cammy, go. And like we had like this whole little dance going on and like it was the cutest thing ever. So it was just like a fun vibey morning. So that's like a huge win. The other thing that I thought was really awesome too is like me and Brett obviously, you know, like we have dinner together, but like, you know, sometimes it's just like you recap your day and you just like go and you relax on the couch. But like last night was a really nice dinner. Like we just like cooked a regular Kevin's meal. So I don't know if you guys have Kevin's or whatever, but they're like these paleo meals. You can get them from like ShopRite or Whole Foods or whatever. Super easy. They're sous vide and they're super tasty. Takes five minutes. Not sponsored. <laughs> we had like a Kevin's meal and like we just had like a couple minutes where we we're just like heart to heart connecting and just like you know having like the deep conversation that's really important and like you know it doesn't happen every day which is fine and like I'm an introvert so like sometimes at the end of the day I'm just like I need a I need a minute I just need to kind of like decompress and just like cuddle or like not talk or anything but like last night was really nice so here's your reminder that if there's someone that you want to connect with and have an intimate conversation with here's your permission to go ahead and do that um cuz it's always really nice when you do that was really like where like today's episode comes in, it's like all about really stepping outside of your comfort zone and like doing the things that are really, really important to you. And not only important to you right now, but also what your future self is going to thank you for like taking those actions today. I felt like for a couple of weeks there, like I was super disconnected. I was not intentionally, but intentionally like pressing the snooze button and like doing the things that were creating that distance because like I feel this like massive ascension coming like this massive um breakthrough and like sometimes that feels scary like oh my gosh what's on the other side of this because like our comfort zone is our comfort zone for a reason right it's like comfortable and in theory there's no growth that happens in your comfort zone, right? So I was thinking about what I wanted to share today. And as I was like thinking of the topic for today, it was so interesting and so aligned because I mean, it's today is March 1st, but you'll hear this on, I think like March 7th or 8th of next week. It's the first day of a new month. And I've never been like a big believer of you have to wait until Monday to, you know, start and set your goals, or you have to wait until the new year to start and set your goals. And I think I said that during the new year's podcast episode, but it just so happens that today is March 1st and I had set an intention for myself yesterday and I got back to my 5 a.m. workouts and I got back to my morning routines and my early bedtime. So I was legit like a grandma last night. I was in bed before nine o'clock and I was sleeping way before nine o'clock and it felt so freaking good. But the point of all of this is um, I've been saying now for... I don't know, it's been like a couple of weeks where I've just been wanting to get back into a routine. And for me, like getting into a routine is what really like kind of gets the like has the gas going behind the scenes, like keeps like the pedal to the metal for me. And um, I've been lacking my routine for a little bit because I had um, my retreat last week. So uh, we had our certification students come to my headquarters in Red Bank, New Jersey to come and get certified as uh, master success coaches and master life coaches. It was just such a beautiful experience, but because we're so tied up for like this entire week long, um, you know, you get thrown off of your routine. And I think like the entire week leading up to it, it was my birthday and we were, you know, celebrating and doing all the things. So like February was kind of just like a little bit, I don't want to say like a wash because February was an amazing month. There were so many like awesome things that happened, but I wasn't in my routine. And then so interesting because yesterday I was like, okay, on, and I, I literally fell victim to what I say I don't subscribe to. And I said, well, Monday, I am going to start the gym again and I'm going to start my routine again. And I was like, you know what? Fuck that. Like I, why am I going to wait until Monday? Like let's kind of practice what we preach here and like just get with it. And it's Wednesday today and I started back at the gym this morning and I was so proud of myself. But what I realized is it felt hard. <laughs> it felt so hard to wake up at 4.15 in the morning again to start your routine so that I could, you know, go back to the gym and do all the things. Like it felt freaking hard. And I was going through like this whole like internal conflict in the morning. And I'm like, why am I feeling this way? 
and what's happening. And it kind of sparked the idea of um, what today's episode is going to be about. And it's really just about like stepping out of your comfort zone. But more importantly, I want you all to just remember like when you're making changes and when you're committing to whether it's a new outcome or a new goal or just consistency or a new habit that you want to incorporate into your life, it feels hard to make the changes because it is hard. (laughs) Okay. And like recognize that like, it's okay. Like not everything is supposed to feel easy, breezy, flowy, like aligned. Like I think some of the, some of the times, like when people say that it's like such bullshit. And for me, I, I almost get into this spot of like, should I not be doing this? Like, is this not in alignment because it doesn't feel easy right now? And like, that's just not the case. So I just want you to remember, like if you're setting a new goal for yourself, or if you want to start a new habit, or you want to, you know, um, try something new, it feels hard to do the thing because it is hard. Like if you've never done it before, if you're just restarting something like you're in right now, your subconscious safe zone. And like by definition of like your safe zone or your comfort zone, it's meant to feel comfortable, right? So every time we're in this comfort zone, we're feeling comfortable. We're feeling like we're doing this routine or that is just natural. It's just like a regular part of our day, a regular part of our life. But whenever we're going to start making a change, it's going to feel uncomfortable. Okay. Not uncomfortable in a way of like, I don't want to do this, but like uncomfortable in the way of like, you're going to experience some resistance. And like, that's normal. Okay. Like that is an absolute normal thing to feel. And so many times I find myself, like if I'm about to start something new and I'm feeling resistance, like my mind almost tricks me because like, I'm so much in like that feminine alignment and flow energy that I'm like, it doesn't feel aligned. And like, that's such a fucking cop out. (laughs) All right. It does feel aligned. I'm just experiencing resistance because the reason why I'm not experiencing all of the things that I want in my life and like why I'm not like fully embodied and like have all of the goals is because like I haven't stepped outside of my comfort zone in certain areas of life. And the same thing goes for you. Like we would be a living, breathing, fully embodied version of ourselves, living out our dream life, hitting all of the goals if we were consistently stepping out of our comfort zone that would allow us to get those goals. So the reason why why we haven't achieved the things that we want to achieve is because we're not fully embodied in it yet and we're not taking action regularly towards the things that we want to experience because of our comfort zone. There was something that I heard once before where like your comfort zone like is essentially your prison. (laughs) Everything on the other side of fear and everything on the other side of your comfort zone that's where like bliss and joy and growth and like all of the things happen but so many times we get so caught up in the uncomfortability of the unknown that we forget to recognize what about the uncomfortability that you're feeling wanting more or the uncomfortability that you're feeling of like wanting to achieve something but we're coming up against this boundary of like these fears coming up, right? When you try to step out of your comfort zone, basically what happens is like your mind's gonna like set off like sirens and roadblocks and like, oh my God, this is unsafe because basically you haven't done it before. It doesn't know what to expect, right? So we can either subscribe to the belief of let's stay in the comfort zone because it's comfortable, but like, is that actually true? Are you actually comfortable in your comfort zone? Or are you experiencing that discomfort of wanting to be on the other side, wanting to experience more, wanting that growth, right? So basically, what I'm trying to say is like, no matter if you're in your comfort zone, or you're taking the steps towards creating the changes or creating that new outcome or whatever it is, you're going to have uh, some sort of discomfort. Now, it's going to be discomfort of resistance of, I don't know what's on the other side, or the discomfort of, I want more. Now, what does that mean? It means you get to choose today which uncomfortability you prefer to experience. Now, for me, I was subscribing to, let me just stay in my comfort zone because I know what to expect for like a little while. And like, I had to call myself on my own shit because... It, it wasn't feeling good. Like I literally yesterday 
I didn't wake up. I, I mean, I woke up yesterday, <laughs> but I didn't wake up saying this, but like it was throughout the day. I was just like, I am just so sick of my own shit right now. Like make a fucking change. Like in order to experience what I want to experience, like I have these goals for myself. Like I have to make changes and changes are scary sometimes and changes are uncomfortable sometimes, but I have to take action and I have to decide, right? Here's your tough love for me today to say like, when are you going to decide that what you want to achieve is important enough? When are you going to decide that what you want in your life is something that you deserve? Because at the end of the day, we have like these limiting beliefs and we have these limiting decisions and negative wants and desires and sabotage and all of these things come up. But is that more important or is what that is what you want to experience more important? Okay. I actually was listening to, um, I don't even remember honestly who I was listening to the other day, but it was like this culmination of listening to a podcast and watching someone's stories and being a part of the retreat that I was facilitating last week. A shout out to the Sparkle System if you're interested in becoming a certified life coach, neurolinguistic programming practitioner, if you want to be certified in hypnosis or um, in EFT tapping. We are launching and open for enrollment for our next cohort starting in April. So be sure to send me a message if that's something that you're interested in. I was listening to all of these things and listening to all of my students sharing and we were like jamming out on, you know, comfort zones and action and goals and like all of the things. And what it all comes down to is like, if you are in this pattern of what the fuck am I doing? And like, you keep slamming your head against the same wall and you're like, why does this keep happening? Chances are it's because number one, we have this probably a belief playing behind the scenes that's like this disconnect from creating what you want to create. And number two, maybe you're not even taking the action because your beliefs and how you believe about what you can achieve are going to be in the driver's seat. So manifestations are like if you're manifesting something or if you're desiring something to happen or if you're really wanting something to happen, your belief and your ability to achieve it is going to be the thing that connects you to that manifestation. It's not about feeling positive. It's not about feeling all of the good feels. Like you're a human. Like, okay, like let's just take a step back. You're not a superhuman. I mean, maybe you are. I feel like sometimes I'm superhuman. But at the end of the day, like what it all comes down to is like we're, we're these real life people, right? Humans having human experiences, experiencing the full spectrum of human emotions and what it's like to be a human being. So that means like you can feel the ups, you can feel the downs, you can feel the negatives, you can feel the positives. But what it all comes down to is your belief in what you're creating. If you believe that without a doubt it's going to happen for you, that's how the manifestation process is going to work. And if your belief in that is so certain, stepping outside of your comfort zone to make it happen will become a done deal, right? Like it will become a part of the process. So if you believe something to be true, then staying within your subconscious safe zone or your comfort zone isn't who you are anymore, right? So what's important to you? And how solid is your belief in what you're wanting to create? And if you aren't, if you don't fully believe in what you want to create, or if you don't fully believe in yourself yet, like know that I believe in you and know that it is possible for you. But maybe it's time to overcome these barriers and start to work on your subconscious mind. You know, maybe it's time to shape your thoughts, reshape your feelings. Feelings, reshape your beliefs and start to reframe those things so that way it can happen. So back to what I was saying is like I had come up to this point yesterday where I was just like, get it the fuck together, Amanda. Like it is time. Like stop with the excuses. Stop pressing the snooze button. Like practice what you preach. Like be a fully embodied version of yourself because like most of the time I am and then like some of the times it, like shit gets crazy right? Like, you know, I'm a busy mom. I'm a business owner. I'm, you know, like I have to do all of the things. Like if, if you know, you know, but at the end of the day, what it comes down to is like, I need to fill my cup first. Right. And when I envision like who embodied Amanda is like, 
I'm doing the things that make me feel really good. And that's not just pouring into other people's cups. You know, um, that means like showing up for myself and doing the workout because like if you've been following me for a while or if you're new here, like that's a big part of my identity is like working out and like feeling like I just sw- like I love a good sweat session. Like that's like therapy for me. And by not doing it, I was literally making the decision every single day to disconnect from my my higher self and my higher purpose. I would like to ask you too like what is something that you can do today to connect to your higher self? As uncomfortable as it might be because let's be honest, Waking up at 4 or 15 in the morning isn't like the most fun thing to do, right? Like, I, of course, I want to like press the snooze button and snuggle even more and like cuddle up to Brett and like stay there for another two hours. But like, what's more important to me is, you know, come, having those results and like that extra hour or two of sleep is like, it doesn't make a difference. Like, it's not going to help me get to my goals any quicker. So, I'm not telling you to wake up at five o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the morning or go work out. I'm, I'm telling you it's time for, if you're experiencing like this feeling of like stuckness and like, should I move forward? Do I do this? I can't do this. Or like you're stuck in these cycles. Like ask yourself, what actions are you resisting that when you take them, you know that there's growth on the other side. And for me, it was waking up with my alarm clock (laughs) and I got to the gym. I'm so excited because I had a really great sweat session this morning, did some like high intensity interval training, um, came home. I prepared my meals for the day and like, I feel good. And I felt like for a little bit, like my energy was a little bit off, but like that was because I wasn't showing up for me. So where in your life can you show up for yourself today, tomorrow, the next day to recreate those habits that support you and support you in the life that you're wanting to create for yourself? And It's going to be outside of your comfort zone because it's going to allow you to grow. And like, that's the point. And if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. So here's your reminder that you have everything that it takes within you. If you're experiencing any resistance, lean into it and just remember that I believe in you and you can do this. So if nobody told you that they love you today, I love you. You are an incredible, amazing, powerful human being and you are you and that is your superpower. So please like, comment, subscribe, leave me a review below. I love, love, love reading them and hearing from you guys. I appreciate you and remember um, if you want to enroll in the free challenge, to scale your magnetic coaching business. The link is below. I'd love to have you. Let's change some lives. See you next time.